Hello everyone, uh, this is Nuki. Um, I'm going to share a new topics to you and uh, showing you a demo as well. So today the topic is how to create a SQL DTU. So uh, a SQL DTU is uh, it's also belongs in the SQL database. Uh, so if you go in the pricing section as well, you will get a two types of uh, database, which is uh, vCore and another is a DTU. So what is the difference between DT1 and V core? So generally uh, the basic one I am going to share in the for your beginning knowledge and the V core is uh, such like uh, what you have on the on prem and uh, you already have a server and configuration as well uh, the database is on site. So you you have to pay in much more in the if you select in the V core and if you select only DT2 so database DT2 means is the database throughput unit. So database throughput unit will give you a very low pricing without any selecting a V core. So here you also here you also do the same things as well what you have in the V core as well. So V core is included in the server inside in the database and the D2 is not in the um, it's it's only belongs to in the Azure um, Azure. So you don't have to uh, do anything. So let's uh, go and create a um, SQL DTU. So right now I'm going to click on the SQL database. So uh, for a test purpose, I'm going to create a new one. So I'm just uh, clicking on add. So uh, it, it will take some time and opening a new window. So you also, you already, um, I already have a subscription. So if you start yours one, so make sure you have as your subscription as well. So you can use your credit card and take a free a free subscription, pay as you go. And if you have MCT, as I am MCT, so I, I already have MCT subscription as well in here. So I am going to use in the same resource group what I have in the previous one. So if you have a different project, just use in the same name as well and put your all the things and in, in the same resource so you can easily find your all the stops in the same resource group. So what I will do right now, I am going to uh, put a, a new name for database. So new test DB. So new test DB it already uh, it's, uh, it's taken my information so server what i will use in a server if i use my existing server so i can use my existing server if i use in a new one so i can play and create in the new one so if you if you would like to create your new server so you have to play to, to click on the create new and uh, use in the server name login password and uh, confirmation and uh, use your nearest location where is as your data center allocated and the network pointed point of view as well so i'm not going to create in a new one so i am going to uh, uh, using the existing one so so as it is in here so if you want to use uh, sql elastic pool so you have to click on yes or no i'm i'm going to i'm not going to use the elastic pool so uh, it's on uh, default no so right now here is the thing what i have to do you already see it here is a vico and the 32 gb storage and zen 5 so it's already default selected in the uh, vico machine so i have to click on uh, configure one and uh, looking for the basic standard at premium so if i select in the general purpose one so let's see how much uh, cost it will uh, cut in my one and uh, so this is the huge one so if i if i uh, click on the basic general and basic standard or premium so i don't have to use in the windows server so um, so it will auto, it will use only sql sql uh, instance so here is the dtu option dtu is like uh, how many iops you you would like to use and and need so depends on your application so you can use in the basic and standard or premium so these uh, these three things is uh, showcasing the iops and uh, um, how many speed you would like to read and write and take for your database so you see in the st uh, standard dtu 10 is uh, very minimal as i know it's uh, only 15 dollar so you can easily use on this so just click on apply and here is it uh, selected and the and dtu option 
so just uh, click on the uh, review and create and you will review your whole the things what you select and just uh, create and it will automatically creating your uh, database so just wait for it so it's uh, it's deploying so my uh, it will take some time to uh, complete this deployment so just click refresh and uh, you will see that's the my database is already created so let's recheck on this uh, is it uh, is it created or not so what i use my existing dtu resource one so here is my resource one so you will see that uh, what I use is this is the things I was trying to show you that's uh, that's all for today so hope I will come again with the new topics to you thank you very much don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, please keep posting and uh, let me know if I have to improve uh, something in my video or if you want to learn more topics thank you very much